Hey guys, it's TechRan here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get animated wallpapers for your desktop PC. That is right. If you guys do not know, I did a video a while back on how to turn on XMP and also change your memory frequency. In that video, you guys literally focused on the wallpaper more than anything else and asked me, hey, what is that wallpaper? Hey, where did you get it? And today, I'm going to answer all those questions in this video, which I'm super excited about. So let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to need to do is go on this team. So the wallpaper I get is actually from Wallpaper Engine. So what we're going to do is just find wallpaper engine yeah wallpaper engine so you can see this is it right here and i actually already own it for myself so you can actually see like hey it's already in your library so we're just going to go install it but it does cost a total of four dollars so it isn't that bad and it's a one-time payment so meaning that you'll never have to pay for it again so it's not like subscription based which is a big w fat w so once you actually actually buy it and get it what you want to do is next install so i'm going to install it with you guys to show up the whole setup process i uninstalled my wallpaper engine just to show you guys this here today so we're gonna go wallpaper engine we're gonna click install and we're just gonna let it run like it normally with a normal install and let it do its thing so what we do is just a normal install like we would normally do with any application for me i'm gonna put it on my uh, f drive because my f drive is a four terabyte hard drive and i just don't want to place it there for the time being it doesn't be anything too crazy so the only thing you got to keep in mind about this application that is going to take a bit of your gpu and cpu power not a whole lot just a very small micro percentage but you do have to keep that in consideration just in case if you don't have the most demanding gpu out there but if you have at least like the nearest series gpus and anything else you'll be able to run this perfectly fine now the application is installed all we have to do is just launch it like so and you're gonna see it can just say launch wallpaper emergent it's gonna ask a few things we don't really mind what it does so i'm just gonna click that and then it's gonna load it on up and do the final installation for it so we have it up and running now this will of course prioritize these wallpapers over the wallpapers you have so if your wallpaper is like something on your desktop windows and you might want to just like take that image and place it onto your you know wallpaper engine like you see here now of course since i have uninstalled this i do have some of my actually wallpaper still on here because what it does it usually saves onto the server itself so that way you have access to them in the long run but you got the discovery tab which you can use to actually find wallpapers for stuff there can be some that are more complicated like there's actual wallpapers that are clocks what are animated wallpapers too and there's more like just basic anime waifu wallpapers if you really want something just that simple and of course, if you want to look for some stuff, you can find stuff. So we're just going to say show because it is going to like filter by certain things just in case like there's something inappropriate because you can have some really sussy wallpapers if you know what I mean. But let's just say for a second here, you guys want to find the wallpaper I use, which is Japanese town. And if we look up Japanese town, what should happen here is it's going to pop up wallpapers relating to that subject. So you see Japanese town and lo-fi Japanese town, which is the one I use. And you guys asked me about a whole lot of the time. So that's the one you want to look for if you are curious from that video from I talked about prior. And then you can go way over here and find some other ones. And then all you want to do, if you do want to install one of these, you can check the resolution scaling for your monitor and you just click subscribe. When you subscribe, it will start downloading this wallpaper. Most wallpapers won't really be that big. There'll be a few megabytes. Some of them might be a few gigabytes depending on the actual size of it. If it is like a wallpaper for maybe like a 4K monitor or an 8K monitor, which I doubt anyone of us have. Um, yeah, then maybe I'll be bigger. But once it's actually installed, you can go to install wallpapers. You should be able to locate the wallpaper you just installed. So you can see I have this wallpaper right here. I have installed. You can see currently it's installed right now. And it does actually have a clock for the time being. So you can see this is one of those wallpapers that has a clock that comes with it, which is pretty cool in all fairness. Now, it is definitely accurate because it's using your system clock and also your system date. So everything's perfectly lined up down here. So that is pretty cool. If you really want to set up a wallpaper that has a clock as well, you can do that. And you can also mess it with a few other things within the settings of the wallpaper, like volume, because some of them will come with their own sounds. So for me, I need to disable this because when I actually stream on which it does get in the way so i'm going to turn that to zero and then you can also mess around with the play rate like how fast you want to be so if i really want the, the sheer bosses to be slow i can do that if i want them to be just the normal pacing i can just put them on the normal pacing if i want them to be super fast i can make it super fast but we really don't need to mess with that too much and now you can also do some other things like you can fill a monitor you can cover a monitor and then you can stretch which stretch is not gonna really do too much like if you have a what is it a vertical monitor then yeah it's gonna stretch but we just want to set this to just cover for the time being and you can do some other things like flip which will allow you to flip the actual wallpaper in itself which we don't really want that let's be completely honest so we're just going to remove that and then you can also show the colors to and mess around the saturation brightness and a few other things so you can get really in depth with these wallpaper engine if you really want to and you can also get some like anime wallpapers like this like my no game no life wallpaper you can also get maybe some pokemon wallpapers if you're looking at something pokemon wise or maybe you're just looking at something super simple with some like lo-fi to be very chill and laid back you can do something like that which is 
pretty awesome in all fairness now there's some other settings you can mess around too with this if you really want to get in depth with your wallpaper engine for example here let's just go to the settings of wallpaper engine you're gonna have to see other applications just keep running and then of course you want to you can mess around with the quality in here so if you don't want your wallpaper to be super high quality you can literally just set the low and it'll set on low and if you want to set an ultra you can do so so it's not like anything too crazy me personally i literally just keep it on a medium and just keep the quality on high and that's really about it you can do some other stuff too with this but i'm not really worried about 18 analyze saying the frames don't really have to be too high like if i really want to i could turn it to 30 fps at minimum but honestly i kind of just want to leave it as 15 but you know what maybe i'll turn it to 30 just for the sake of making it a little bit more smoother because now the tree blossoms are smoother because of that so maybe even wallpaper that looks too chunky you can make it smoother by adding a little bit of frames so that will take a little bit on your gp though so for example here we were actually going to go check out performance on wallpaper engine you can actually see how much this application is actually running. So for me right now, it is only currently using less than 0.8% most of the times around. Now, this might depend depending on your GPU. For me, I have a 2080 Super. So, you know, it's not really going to hit it at all or tank it when I play video games and stuff like that. And of course, when you do play video games, it will be running in the background still no matter what. And then if you want to just close it, you can literally just say apply okay fold it it's gonna fold it down or you can just like close it like so when you close it like so and then we'll go on your little task bar over here after my friend gets out of the way you can actually see the gear and if you want to mess around with wallpaper engine you can really change wallpaper mess with the settings again or do really whatever you want with it but yeah that is how you set up wallpaper engine on your pc if you guys did find this video helpful though make sure to smash the like button and if you want to do me a favor get subscribed because we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of 2023 though that would be very much appreciated but until then i'll see you guys for another video tech grant out